hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing an eyebrow tutorial for you guys i always get asked every time how i do my brows so i'm just brushing them up right now with my spoolie then i'm going to go in with my tweezers and tweeze any excess hairs that i don't like um or that's just out of whack um my hair grows back so fast so i have to do this so often Okay, so then I'm just going to tweeze the unibrow. Don't front, girl. Everybody gets them. So then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. eyebrow brush or eyebrow, eyebrow pencil, excuse me. And it is in the color black brown. So I'm just going to line the bottom of my eyebrows. Um, I like to do this because it kind of preps me for my outline. So I'm just lightly outlining the bottom of my brow excuse me and as you can see as you can see I'm going in with light strokes I don't want to start off too harsh because it's so much easier to build up the product than to take it away then I'm going to I'm just going to do the top of the brow I'm following my natural arch I'm just going to spoolie it up. And the spoolie is just going to blend it all in. Blend a little excess harsh um, spots. And then I'm just going to go back on the top and do the same thing. Next, I'm going to take my NYX Tame and Frame prom Pomade. It reminds me of the... Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip pomade. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna tap it into the product and then I'm going to tap off the excess in the lid. That way I'm not going in too heavy handed. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the eyebrow pencil. Um, I'm just going to go back in and really trace over that outline that I did. Um, this pomade is more pigmented so it's gonna give me a little bit more color payoff. Then the front, I'm gonna turn my brush vertical. I'm gonna do um, little hair-like strokes. Then I'm gonna use my spoolie and blend it all in. And I'm just creating the perfect tail for me. I like a more tapered tail. I know some people like their brows to be like straight or curve down but this is the best look for me so now it's time to move on to the other eyebrow so I'm just going to let you watch this one and I'll come back in a little bit Okay guys, so we finished with that one. So now I'm just gonna go back in and do a little bit of retouching, um, little areas that I think needs more product in. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my Photo Focus Concealer by Wet n Wild. I love this concealer. I'm not sure of the shade, but I will link it down below. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand I'm going to grab a concealer flat brush. I got this from Morphe. Then I'm just going to tap into that product. I don't like to go in heavy handed. I like to go in very light as you can see. I just think it gives me a little bit more control when I go in a little light handed. I don't want to go in with too much product. I just think it gets too messy and I usually mess up my brow when I put too much product on my brush. So I'm just following my outline that I did earlier 
and I'm going to bring that product down as you can see and I like to go in with a lighter concealer shade because it gives my eyebrow a little bit of a lift but you got to make sure that you blend it really well so I'm just outlining the top just following that shape so now I'm doing the same thing on the other eyebrow And I know a lot of people say they have problems with getting their eyebrows even. Listen, if you connect it like I just did, connect it as a unibrow, I promise you it's so much easier to get your brows even. Now I'm just going on the top. I'm trying to stay in frame. It's so hard. But I'm just going on the top and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did. Okay guys, so I'm going to go in with this little bullet brush. Um, it's, by, it's my Ray Ray um, by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to blend in that concealer. I'm just making sure I fully blend in all of the concealer. That way we won't have any halo eyebrows when we put on our foundation. Okay guys, so we finished that up. So now we're going to go in with some uh, brow gel. This is by ColourPop and it's in clear. I'm just going to brush my hairs up in the direction that I want them to go. If you do not like your brows to go up, then brush them however you would like. The brow gel is just going to hold the hairs in place wherever you decide to put them. I love this brow gel. It's so inexpensive and it works like a charm. So now I'm just going back in and Blending in that concealer a little bit more. I don't like the way it was at the moment. And I'm just going to use my fingers just to really blend in the concealer. And guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys really learned something. Um, if you did, let me know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.